I'm a dude. <laughs> Joy. Today I'm going to tell you about three things. And it's abortion, religion, and women's rights. And why they're important to me. Um, death, life, religion, and choice. These are controversies in abortion today and what people talk about, argue about, or have fear about talking about. Um, first I'm going to tell you about Gideon Saman, who is a pastor, and he said that the 1984 abortion clinic bombing was a good thing, and that it was an act of God, and I don't agree with that because they, I don't think you should go out and just bomb a clinic and just because you don't agree with what they're doing. I think every everybody has a choice, and I think that him saying that made him kind of, well, a moron to me. That's my opinion. Um, I, got, I got that information from ProQuest, and his exact words are, only God can desi decide what is wrong or right, and the, the 1984 abortion clinic bombing was an act from God. Well, I totally disagree. My next person that I looked up on ProQuest as a quote, a site that I looked up, was Dorothy McBride. And she's a woman's activist. And her quote that I, I like was, do not let others be your voice. Women should be heard and have a choice. Do not let others who have not walked in your shoes be your voice. And I agree to that. And the third person I looked up that had a site was Reuben Ether, and it was the abortion controversy, and she's the one that's saying pro-life and pro-choice is a big controversy in our nation today, and she states a little bit of how it's negative and how it's positive, positive. and so I'm going to tell you a little bit about the speech I chose, and that's by Sophia Williams. She actually attended our class a few, um, few months ago, a few quarters ago, and she talked about abortion, and I saw her speech online, and it got to me. I agreed with a lot of stuff that she said. Her favorite quote was, she used to be pro-life, and due to certain circumstances, she now understands why pro-choice is a big thing in America. And now she feels that she is the gray area in between. And I kind of feel like that too. So I'm going to start you off with, these are the facts of women that get pregnant, women that terminate, women that miscarry, women that choose to have babies. And this is what a baby looks like in the womb. And it, and it gets you know, they turn into a baby, but this is from, I believe this is eight weeks pregnant. And 76% of people that have abortions usually get pregnant between eight and 12 weeks, or get abortions between eight and 12 weeks. And so this is what it would look like. To me, it looks like an egg with a start of a baby forming inside of it. There's a big controversy with this. Here's pro-life rally people. Now, a lot of them say, I regret my abortion, which I can agree with. I, too, had an abortion that I regret, but at the same time, I feel was the best choice at the time. This is um, obviously a lot of people that have had abortions or are religious and don't believe in having abortions, so they have a pro-life rally. This one is not as bad, but you can see there's police there and they're holding them off. And Sophia Williams' point was that she had to go through this. She 
went to a clinic and she had um, she had an abortion. The reason she had it though, she's religious, she goes to church. She had the abortion because she was seven months pregnant and they, she found out the baby had no limbs and was brain dead. And so she chose instead of having a vegetated baby to have an abortion. And it was the hardest thing she said she ever had to do in her life. And I can relate to that. And that's why there's a big gray area in between. And this is where she describes her horrible incident that's going to haunt her for the rest of her life. These are also pro-life activists, so it can go in a negative way, too. These people are obviously dressed to me like Satan or devil, and they're hanging babies from cords, and that is not, to me, appropriate to go to a clinic and judge someone and scare them away from making a decision that they need to make. I think that she's right when she says that she's going to be scared the rest of her life from that because I had something similar happen to me. I went to have my abortion. I was eight weeks pregnant, and I had people like this. They had crosses. They chased me around with wooden crosses, yelling that I'm going to go to hell and burn in hell because I was having an abortion. There's two sides to every story. Do I think abortion is right? No, I don't. But do I think in some cases it is necessary for that person? Maybe. I think everybody deserves to have a life. But for me personally, I was abused and raped and I got pregnant. And so my logical thinking at the time, I had already had a kid. You guys know I'm a teen mom. And so my logical thinking was I'm only eight weeks and that is this. And so I had an abortion. When I went in, they were chasing me with crosses and they were telling me, you know, that it's not right and I'm gonna go to hell. And that was the lasting impression that got stuck in my mind. And it still, you know, bothers me to this day. As Sophia Williams said, that's a haunting experience and we have to live with it ourselves by having the abortion. So it shouldn't matter what other people are saying. I asked for more time. And it shouldn't matter what other people are saying because everybody has a choice. We have to live with that already, that we have the abortion. So to be chased by people and, you know, people like this is, is not okay. I mean, it's just wrong. And so I've told you a little bit about abortion, religion, and women's rights. And I want to say everyone has an opinion about abortion, but unless you're on the receiving side of it, you will never truly know when and how they feel or what they've been through. I'm pro-life, but I do have a choice.